look what's happening now. And tonight, lawmakers urging the Biden administration to provide explanations for the disappearance of 85,000 migrant children. So it's bad enough that we put them in cages, but then we lost them. Like, how the fuck does that happen? And then nobody talks about it. Like, I'm so sick of fucked up shit happening in this country. And then nobody talks about it. And then nothing gets done to change it. Representative Juan Cisco Mani has written a letter to the administration raising concerns about unaccompanied migrant children being handed over to adults and then failing to keep track of them. Whistleblowers are revealing that the Biden administration is releasing young migrant children into the arms of adult supervisors who have not been properly vetted with a background check. And that's coming from Representative Juan Siscomani. No background check. You have got to be fucking kidding me. There's no way. How is this possible? What the fuck? Yo, who's running this fucking country, bro? It's a fucking circus, yo. Now we have 85,000 missing unaccompanied minors. Y'all ever been in a situation so bad and so fucked? All you can do is laugh. I'm so sorry. You're laughing? She's laughing. I and don't get me wrong. It's not because I find this funny. I don't. But yo, what the fuck, man? Like, what the actual hell, bro? All of those young children were processed through the port of entry here in the U.S., but now there are no sign of them anywhere. These are the minors that are sent up by their parents uh, with a uh, last-ditch hope that they can make it to the land of opportunity and have a better shot at life. Now lawmakers are calling on the Biden administration to reveal how many minors were allowed into the country and were turned over to adult sponsors who weren't vetted properly. Representative Siskamani says the House has ways to hold the Biden administration accountable. Well... Considering how demented our president is, I doubt he'd be any of help. Joe Biden's cognitive and physical decline has been well documented throughout his administration. Mumbles and stumbles often make headlines and are mocked by primetime television hosts. But what is not widely spoken about is Joe Biden's creepiness. Sniffing children, inappropriate touching and strange whispering have all come up multiple times throughout his presidency. But the mainstream media seemed to sweep the concerning behavior under the rug. And with how creepy he is around kids as well, I wouldn't be surprised if he's the reason why these kids are missing. Uh, we have the power of the purse. I'm in the appropriations yeah. committee. We're gonna use any pressure point here with the administration that is necessary to get their attention. Siskamani says these young children are being forced into sex, slavery, and child labor ring. I'm not trying to downplay other people's struggles but when i'm going through it i be thinking like damn bro i really have a good because i'm not being sex trafficked and i'm not enslaved you know i might have to go to a, some job that i might dread and shit at the end of the day i gotta come home so yeah i be looking at life like that sometimes i really feel so sorry that some people had to be handed those cards, that they have to go through this shit, man. And I know that this shit is real. I know that shit is happening. And I pray for these people. I do. And I hope that this politician, or whoever he is, is actually about his word, is actually doing something. In his letter, he calls out Health and Human Secretary Javier Basada and Homeland Security of Secretary Services Alejandro Bajorquez, accusing them of not doing anything to help find these young missing children. We want to continue to uh, drive resources to the border. We're going to do that. And they're going to come with accountability factors as well. Secretary Mayorkas and Secretary Becerra need to answer the questions that I asked them on these letters. Where are these kids? What are we doing about it? See, I like this guy. But maybe. Just maybe. Maybe these kids wouldn't be missing if they have better preventative measures in place.